Welcome to Break Magazine. My name is Elf Havey and this is Mini Tip Monday. This week on Mini Tip Monday, we're talking about wearing goggles. Getting comfy with wearing goggles and getting used to them can be a game changer for riding off road. Riding on the street and on the highway, being in that visor in that little bubble of non circulating air is really, really nice. But when we start to ride off road and the conditions aren't so good or they're hot and you're working hard, a visor is a horrendous thing. It doesn't breathe, it doesn't let any air flow, and they're not very good at dealing with the mud. Goggles, however, don't have to be the same. They can make life way, way better. They let the air flow. You can see much clearer when you're riding off road, but they do take some getting used to. So these are our top tips for getting on with goggles. Our first tip for getting on with goggles is to not skimp. Cheap goggles suck. They're really bad. They're like cheap anything. They don't work well. They fog up badly. They don't breathe well. The quality of the lens and the foam and the strap, just none of it's good. And with goggles, you kind of get what you pay for. In better goggles, there's some really well thought out technology. The companies that make goggles know what they're doing and they know how to build goggles that circulate air well, have really good fields of vision, don't press on your nose too much, stay attached to your helmet well, don't fog up, and they have some really great lens options. For example, the Scott Prospect is one of the best goggles you can find. It's really well designed. It has a nice spacious area over your nose, has a really big strap, has an incredible field of vision. And companies like Scott make really cool things like light sensitive lenses and well tinted lenses and double skin lenses. This is a game of spending a little bit more gets you a long way up the ladder. You don't have to buy into the top end of goggles and spend 180 pounds on a pair of Oakley air brakes. You can if you want to, but the return on your investment isn't necessarily there. There's a real sweet spot of about 30 to 50 pounds where there's some great products. Something like Oakley's O-Frame is a classic. You have the 100% Racecraft or Scott's Hustle. Those goggles all work super well. They breathe well. They have really good anti-fog coatings on their lenses and you kind of get the best bang for your buck. If you step over that line a little bit more and go to the 60 to 70 pound range, you can get incredible products that are easily some of the best goggles ever designed, something like the Scott Prospect, but you don't need to go that far. Tip two is about riding in the rain. Goggles rock when riding off road, but only if you look after them. First up on the list for this tip is looking after the lens. Goggle lenses, especially dirt bike ones, are not complex things. They're generally pretty shitty. They're stamped from Lexan plastic and they have these kind of anti-scratch coatings on them, but ultimately it's very easy to get scratches in your goggle lens, especially micro scratches from getting dust and wiping it off or cleaning with your gloves or other rough materials. A couple of golden rules are gonna keep your goggle lens in great shape. First up, never wipe it clean with anything but a soft cloth the goggle bag that your goggles came with, or a glasses cleaning cloth. Ideally, you always wanna do it with some soapy water or some warm soapy water so that you're super gentle with the lens and you don't smear any scratches into it. Generally, those same rules apply when it's dusty. Don't just wipe the dust off. If you're going to wipe the dust off, use a really soft cloth and put some pressure onto the lens so that you're not dragging the dust across it. Ideally, again, you would never do that. You take the lens out, clean it in some warm soapy water or with some cleaner and a really soft cloth and just treat your goggle lenses like they're delicate. If you are out riding and you kind of get a lot of water on your lens and you're going slow and it's not blowing off, don't wipe it with anything. In that scenario, we're gonna use the exhaust gases from the back of the bike to blow the air off and dry the lens out. That kind of whole process of pushing hot air onto it will dry it out. And you'll find even if you end up with a really wet goggle lens once you dry it out, and it's still a bit dirty, you can see super well, and it's gonna help in the long term when you need to ride in the rain again. Tip three is all about fogging. First up on this tip is buy a decent set of goggles with a decent lens that's got a good anti-fog coating. All the big brands have this, and generally their anti-fog coatings work really, really well. If you wanna go one step further, you can buy an enduro style goggle with a double skin lens, and that will never fog up unless you get water in between it. After that, if your anti-fog coating wears out or it's just you don't have a goggle lens with an anti-fog coating, you can use fairy liquid on the lens, you soap it up, rinse it off, and that works really well. And you can do the same thing with shaving foam. That's a really good plan B, but what if you're out on the trail? If you are out on the trail and your goggle lens starts to fog, we're back to that exhaust. Using the exhaust gases to warm up the lens from the inside of the goggle works unbelievably well for stopping them fogging. By getting the Lexan nice and warm and then putting them straight on, 
against your warm face. The temperature in between stops the lens fogging and you're good for hours. You might find that it'll fog again if the lens gets a bit cold or you take them off for a bit and then put them back on and it cools down. That's when you start to get fogging again. But otherwise the exhaust trick is magic. The last part of this tip is to be really mindful of how you wear your goggles. When you take them off in the rain, don't tip them so that the rain can go on the inside. And especially don't pull your goggles off and put them on your chin bar. You'll breathe into them, you'll fog them up, you'll have to clean them and you'll scratch them. If you're going to take them off, make sure that they stay so that the outside of the lens is facing upward towards the rain, rest them on your handlebars or something. And if you're not going to wear them, take them off your helmet, turn them around and put them so that the strap goes under the peak on backwards. When you do this, make sure that you don't stretch the foam and pull it off the frame. It can be easy when the goggles are that way around to do this. Our final tip for enjoying goggle life is to not skimp on lenses. Fortunately, goggle lenses, because they're relatively cheap to make, are relatively cheap to buy. Even the basic lens for the Prospect goggle is only 10 pounds. So you can definitely, if you've got a slightly cheaper model goggle, get new lenses regularly. Most goggles have interchangeable lenses and most big brand goggles are really easy to buy lenses for. There's plenty of places online to do so. So don't skimp. If you get micro scratches on them or scratches on them or the anti-fog coating stops working, just get yourself a new lens. Every time you do it, you'll be blown away by how much better the clarity is and you'll thank yourself. When you get into wearing goggles, you'll really appreciate how much better that clarity is for riding off-road and how much more airflow you get. They're a really, really good experience if you're comfortable with them. And if you combine them with a helmet with a big enough eye port that's got a visor, life is awesome. You can definitely then switch between the two all the time and it makes adventure riding super, super nice. And that's about it for this week's Mini Tip Monday. If you've got any questions about buying goggles or which goggles to choose or you're having problems with your goggles, drop a comment down below. We'll do our best to answer them. And otherwise, hit that subscribe button if you like this video. If you really like what we're doing, hit that bell. That will give you regular notifications. And otherwise, like the video. And remember, guys, life's better when you're riding.